Amazon.com. It's one of the internet's most popular non-pornographic websites. And <laughs> it could be coming to a city near you. Amazon making a decision on the location of its second headquarters. Amazon is reportedly going to split their second headquarters between two cities, Long Island City right here in New York and Crystal City in Northern Virginia. That's 50,000 jobs between those two locations. And the Wall Street Journal is also reporting there may be other major Amazon hubs to come elsewhere in the country. Finally, something that's gonna put New York and DC on the map, yes! <laughs> You know, seeing New York and D.C. land a new office complex is sort of like watching Bill Gates win the lottery. It's like, congrats, I guess? <laughs> and it'll be interesting to see how Amazon changes New York. But really, I want to see how New York changes Amazon. I give it six months before they're like, yeah, we got a return policy. It's called shut the f up, tough guy. <laughs> Get the shit out of here. <laughs> and with tax incentives and grants, New York is paying Amazon more than $1.5 billion to move here. And yet, somehow, they can't afford to fix the subway, yeah? <laughs> I mean, not that we'll need the subway anymore. You can just Amazon Prime yourself to work. It was like, <laughs> oh, man, why did I choose two-day delivery? <laughs> Moving on, uh, everyone knows high school prom photos are incredibly embarrassing, uh, especially for me, because I had to take my cousin to prom, uh, who is a giraffe. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know why my writers keep giving me these dumb Africa jokes. I had a normal, a normal prom date with a zebra named Deborah, <laughs> or as you say here, Debra. The point is, prom photos should be embarrassing, not offensive. Police in Wisconsin are investigating a disturbing prom photo that's led to growing international outrage. The photo appears to show more than 30 male high school students making a Nazi salute. The image was posted on Twitter Sunday night and quickly spread. One student in the photo did not participate, but says the gestures were intentional. First of all, congratulations to that one kid. Second, yes, this is where we are in 2018. We're congratulating a kid for not being a Nazi. <laughs> Like, what were these kids even thinking? They had to know that the photo was gonna get out. And there aren't enough jobs in the Trump administration for all of them. Come on. <laughs> what were you guys thinking? And this right here is why I don't wave anymore. Hand gestures are too politicized these days. I don't wave. I don't do the okay. I don't do finger guns. The safest bet is just to go, good afternoon, how are you, grandma? <laughs> That's what we do from now on. In other news, uh, remember all those kids who were eating Tide Pods? Well, now they have something to wash them down. Parents now raising concerns about Tide laundry detergent. They say the new packaging resembles a box of wine. The detergent will now come in a cardboard box with a twist to open the uh, spout. Procter & Gamble says the box will have a picture of a Tide bottle on it and a label warning parents to keep it stored away from children. Okay, I get that the box looks like wine, but why are parents worried that their kids are gonna mistake Tide for a box of wine? <laughs> for starters, why is your child drinking wine? <laughs> Children should be drinking wine coolers. Come on. <laughs> it's called parenting. And also, what kind of kids would be stupid enough to drink detergent? You know what? Let's... Don't even answer that question. <laughs>